This works pretty good, actually, right? But don't rely on it for automations. Like if you have a water sensor that turns off your water when there's a leak, don't rely on Amazon to do it because it will not it will not reliably do those kind of things. Actually, the the this was all generated uh, by my wanting to get a new hub, and I had looked at Amazon the Amazon Echo Eight hub. It was promised to be a hub. I thought, great, this is Amazon stepping up to the plate, creating a, a, a hardware hub finally. So I get this, turns out it's just a glorified tablet with Amazon Voice, and I returned it almost immediately. It just was really not what I was looking for. I was looking for a hardware hub to do my automations internal to my LAN. Now, you might ask, why do you want to do your automations internal to your network? So let's think about this for a minute. If you, I'm sure all of you have a water heater somewhere in your house, in a closet, in the garage, and if it breaks down, the plumber comes, you call the plumber, the plumber comes, he fixes it or he replaces it. No big deal, right? However, let's make a hypothetical where you have hot water being pumped into your home from some service provider somewhere. And that's great when everything is running fine, but you wake up one morning and you have no hot water. You call the plumber and the plumber says, I'm sorry, I can't fix it because I don't know where the hot water is coming from and you don't have a water heater. Right? So now you have to get on the phone with the service provider. And this is where Amazon becomes very much like this scenario in that the service providers, when you have a problem, they point at Amazon. And then Amazon points back at the service provider. And it becomes this problem that you wouldn't have if you have a, an actual device that you can use to run your automations. Now, there are some really good devices that do home automation locally. Uh, Homey Pro is one of them. Homeseer and Hubitat, Hubitat. And I'm going to switch over from smart things to Hubitat for a number of reasons, which I will detail in just a moment. But Hubitat is, is a really good, is all internal. These are all internal hubs that have Zigbee and Z-Wave and Thread and Matter all included in the, in the hub. So you don't have to go out and ask someone to give you, to, to buy another hub for your home and have five or six hubs all sitting around your home doing different things. I already have more hubs than I need doing various things. So I wanted to get something that was local that wouldn't uh, cause a problem. And so let me explain what, you know, what that means. That means that you can then set up your devices and if the internet is down, you don't have to worry about whether or not your automations are going to run. If you have that automation set up to turn off the water when there's a leak, it will run as long as you have electricity in your home. That hub is going to continue to run those automations regardless. And this is where I have a problem with smart things. SmartThings has been promising for years that they would bring their automations down into their hub. Samsung bought SmartThings. They promised that this was going to happen. Promises, promises, promises. Very few of them kept. There's been very few automations that have actually come down into our local hubs. And as a result, when the internet is down, lots of things don't work. So I prefer to do my automations locally and have it run locally. And I'm going to start doing some videos. I've got a, a couple of Hubitat hubs. I'm going to take one and show you how to set it up from ground up, how to get it hooked up, and what to do and, and how to set up other devices on it as well as other services. Because you can, you can hook it into 
uh, Amazon, uh, the A L E X A, and uh, and you know have your voice or Google Assistant. You can hook it into either one of those. So it's not like you won't have the ability to turn off your lights uh, through your voice. So I hope that this short video was informative and that you found it informative for you. And if you did, or if you didn't, please like, share, and subscribe so that we can add more videos and bring you great videos from now on. I thank you. Have a good day.